Hello again guys, today we're going to be back in the Jeep hut doing some more work and today we're going to finally get the new seat put in the back along with the uh, tyre pump that should be fitted underneath it which has took me way too long to get sorted out. I've had this Jeep now for about three and a half years and I've only just got around to doing the seat so that tells you how much other stuff I had to get done on at first. So I'll uh, go and grab the new seat and we'll be putting that in the back of the Jeep. Right, we've got it at an angle where hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab the new seat. Let's fold it up position at a minute. I just got to guide in. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's try, Let's try this. Right, that's the seat locked into its position. Now we're going to work on getting these brackets back in, they're a bit fiddly. Right, that's the first one just in position, I just need to go and get the second one in before I start tightening up the nuts. Right, both the brackets are in now, so just going to put the hardware back on. It really is stiff compared to the other one. It's a shame that two of the studs are missing off these. But once you get this tightened up, it doesn't make any difference. I've gone over the uh, hardware with a Dremel just to take most of the corrosion off. Get that nice and tight there. And now that the uh, now that the proper seat is in it, I'll paint these up green. I'll just go around and fit the hardware on the other side. Right, now I've got to just go and pick up the brackets that I painted and uh, pop them back in down here. It's just one screw, so it's not a big job. Right, now just popping in the brackets on this side. Fairly easy task. Sorry if the angle's a bit bad. Nothing too exciting, just one screw. Apologies if you can hear a lot of traffic or a lot of dogs barking. All of my neighbours have dogs that never show up. That'll do it. So that's the seat completely fit. Now for the fun bit. Trying to get the tide pump in without wrecking everything else. It does fit in, I've already had it in. Had to do some modifications to the pump and the seat because they're both just repros, but should. There you go. Yeah, just fit that in like that. pretty sturdy and then the pipe you have to take the nozzle off the end of that like so right if I bring around the other side you can see that the hose the nozzle goes in here and then you can just do it up Working around the camera. There you go, you thread the, thread the hose back on the nozzle and that holds the entire pipe in place. And there we have it, guys. One new back seat installed with 
the tire pump mounted on it and that only got scratched pretty badly <laughs> we expected in the moment of truth there you go I can barely see my little uh, mess up with the uh, spools Looks like there's a bit of wear on it. Once the seat starts getting used, that will dull down and get sort of all your greasy marks on it, like the rest of them have, and you notice that even less. So, there we have it. One job that I've been wanting to do for ages, finally done. Nice, happy with that. Just a little bit I thought I'd share with you. I got hold of some of these canvas headlight covers. They're pretty smart. I was just in a test fit. They go on pretty much perfectly. And then you just tie it up around here on the mount. I haven't tied it up at the minute. That's gonna look quite smart with a pair of them on. Obviously this one's still kind of hanging about. Right, I need to clear up underneath the Jeep now and just crawl underneath it and check that steering box because I have a suspicion there's a bit of a leak going on. So uh, I'll have a look at that now. Right chaps, I've had a crawl underneath. There wasn't any new stuff on the ground. There was a lot of gunk in that on the other side of this chassis bit out here but that would probably be where we spilt loads of oil when we were filling it up and doing. So I've cleaned it all up on the other side and um, put a bit of cardboard under it here so if is any drips happen we'll be able to see exactly where they're coming from and I'll know straight away if that's the stirring box. It doesn't actually look, if you get down here on the other side, it doesn't actually look like there's anything running out of it so I think we might be alright. But I'll leave that bit of cardboard down there for a few days and see what happens. Right, so... Uh, that's all we've got for today. I just want to pop that seat in and show you guys. Next up we'll probably be taking the uh, valve cover off the side of the engine because we want to change the gaskets on that and just have a look at the valves because I haven't seen them. I haven't had that cover off since I got the Jeep. The engine was built, rebuilt about 30 years ago so that could probably do with a look so I've no doubt no one's looked at it since the day that was rebuilt. And um, also get that master cylinder painted to stop that corroding. And uh, yeah, I reckon I'll be the next couple of jobs. So thanks for coming along and I'll speak to you next time.